This video demonstrates the operation of Percival Scientific's Intellis Ultra controller and explains how to change settings, program the controller, enable controls, and use the keys and lights on the Intellis Ultra. The owner's manual that was shipped with each chamber has more detailed instructions. If you do not have your owner's manual, please contact Percival Scientific and we will gladly provide a manual for the Intellis Ultra controller. As you view this video, please keep in mind that not all chambers are equipped with all features. The controller's display is on the top left of the controller. The top row displays the current time. Next to the time, the top row indicates the chamber temperature and finally shows the relative humidity value. The bottom row displays the light settings, either a bar graph for the open loop dimming feature or a 1 or 0. 1 is on and 0 is off. The bottom row also shows the auxiliary channel. This can display either CO2 concentration or light intensity if equipped with closed loop dimming. To the right of the display are 8 LED indicator lights. Again, keep in mind that your chamber may not be equipped with all features. Most chambers will always be in either heat or cool. These cycle to maintain a constant chamber temperature. Next are humidify and dehumidify indicators. To the right are indicators for the auxiliary channel, program, alarm, and finally, communications. It is important to note that, if the program LED is illuminated, you cannot override any setting like temperature, light, or humidity values unless you switch the controller to manual mode. Below the display and indicator lights is the keypad. The time key is used to change current time and to change the time setting when programming the Intellis Ultra controller. We will demonstrate programming in another video. To change the time, simply press the time key. It is important to know when changing any value, whether time, temperature, relative humidity, or a program step, you must first press enter. The value will then flash, and you can arrow up or down to the desired value, then press enter again to save the setting. To exit the time menu, press the time key again and you will return to the main display. Next is the Inputs key. This important key allows you to change set points and enable the humidity and auxiliary channels. To change the temperature, simply press the Inputs key, causing the temperature to flash. Press Enter to select. Remember, to change a value, press Enter first. Make changes, then press Enter again to save the setting. You can now use the down arrow to move to the relative humidity menu if the chamber is so equipped. Change the value if desired, then scroll down to where you enable the humidity system. Channel A is additive humidification and channel B is dehumidification. Changing the setting to yes will enable these parameters. Arrow down again and you may see the CO2 control. Again, change the value if desired, then scroll down to enable the CO2. CO2 channel A is additive CO2 and channel B is CO2 removal. Below CO2, the menu will say LT1 if the chamber is equipped with closed loop lighting. There is just one channel for this feature. To return to the main screen at any time, press the Inputs key again. To the right is the Lights key. The Lights key turns lighting events on or off, or allows setting the lighting on a percentage basis if the chamber is equipped with open loop dimming. Remember, enter to change and enter to save. If you arrow down on the light menu, you will find a setting for light lifetime, showing the number of hours a specific light event has been on, a lifetime alarm that can be changed, and a way to reset the light lifetime. When the number of hours reaches the preset lifetime alarm, the controller will alarm and indicate the lamps should be changed. This alarm is simply a notification and will not turn the chamber off. To silence any alarms, press the up arrow key. The arrow keys are self-explanatory, but will also display current conditions, set point, and when running a multi-step program, the name of the program and the current step. Another important key is the alarms key. This key is used to set the high and low temperature alarms. A general rule of thumb is for the limit one safety to be at least three degrees beyond the temperature set point. For example, if the high set point is 24 degrees, the high safety should be set to 27 degrees or higher. If the lowest set point is 19 degrees, set the low safety at 16 degrees or lower. 
Limit 2 is an independent secondary temperature safety alarm. It is recommended that this safety be set at least one degree beyond the Limit 1 settings. Finally, there is a deviation alarm, which is explained in depth in the owner's manual. When a safety alarm occurs, the chamber's lights, fans, and condensing unit are shut down, while the Intellis Ultra controller remains on. This is to prevent any damage to the chamber. To silence the alarm, press the up arrow key. You will need to investigate why the alarm occurred. Once the chamber reaches the temperature safety threshold, it will turn on automatically. To the left of the alarms key is the diagnostics key. This is simply an information loop. It will display Percival Scientific's phone number, the model and serial number of your chamber, and other information that may be helpful if there is a problem with your chamber and it becomes necessary to call Percival Scientific for technical support. The data log and program key will be detailed in a further video. Thank you for watching this informational video, and thank you for trusting Percival Scientific for your controlled environment needs. Should you need to contact us for any reason, please call 800-695-2743 or email service at percival-scientific.com.